So we're here at Leicester's Alp. When you get here, you will come up this road and arrive at the bridge. There's only one way in and out of the winter, so you'll definitely come this way. In the daytime, it'll look like that. In the nighttime, it might look like this. So once you arrive here, you drive underneath the bridge. And you take the first turning on your left, just here. So it's literally straight after the bridge, easy to find, no bother, and you are at the parking. This is sort of our main area at this air, everything's going on here. So on our left, when you get in, you have the service building. This service building has got toilets. It's got separate urinal down the side, down that gap. And you have your service facilities. These service facilities, on the front, you have your WC empty and a water point. And on the back, you have your electric and a water point. This water point is a threaded connection, which you've probably all got. And this one, you need a hose pipe type connection, the male type. You've probably all got them on your van anyway. These toilets, they are these self-cleaning type toilets. So I'm not going to do my standard thing where I leave my camera in there, because if I do, it's going to get wet. But always clean, always tidy. Just what you need if you haven't got a toilet in your van. Once you come out of the toilet, to the left of the building, you have the pistes. If you want to go skiing, you can get on this piece straight down to the ticket office and lift there. You can get lifts up to the main slope or up to the other side, super enough, if you want. And when you're coming home in an evening, you can either ski down a blue here, down a green over there, or you can come over the bridge from the other side, down a green here. So this place truly is key to the door. Also here, just over the other side of that hill, is a helicopter pad. So you might occasionally get to see a helicopter, which is always good fun. So, you then will walk round to the right of the building, have your bins. 
standard bins, glass, general waste, and recycling. All pretty easy. Here's the gendarmes to check people have got their tickets. That's the sound of the police! That's the sound of the beast! So the gendarmes come down every day and check that you've got your ticket in your window. <clears throat> your ticket you get from this machine here. In the summer, the barrier will be down. Ski bus has arrived. So as you can see, your bus comes from here. If you want to get the bus up into town rather than walking, because it's quite a trek up the hill. Anyway, as I was saying, this is where you get your ticket from. All pretty easy. You press your country. You press parking and services. It tells you it's 12 euros a day. So you increase the amount of days to a maximum of seven days. Press next, press validate. Put your credit card in, get your ticket, and then you put that ticket in your window. So when you drive into the air, you'll notice all of these coaches which are here today. So in the summer, this whole area is for motorhomes. In the winter, you can't park here because they say an avalanche might come from that hill, which we don't want. My personal theory is it's because the coaches are here, but you can't really blame them because the coaches probably pay a lot more than we do. They don't want water, they don't want electric, and they bring in 50 people plus each. So. You can't really blame them for that. So you walk through the coaches and you'll arrive at the camping car parking. Say hi to Hannah. <laughs> through the parking for the coaches it'll arrive at the air. So here is the entrance to the bit where we're allowed to park. There's your sign telling you prices. And here is your parking. So there's probably about 12 spaces here. There is only electric on the left hand side again. Probably about 10 amp electric. The fuses are easy to get to if you trip it though, so I wouldn't worry too much. And if you put your hoses, you have hoses, your cable across the road like this fella. If it's snowy, you're liable to get your cable chopped because the snow plow comes through. We've seen that happen. So this is it. This is the air. Small, compact, but got everything we need. Through that bit, that gate there, which is normally closed, that is the area for the season airs where we're not allowed to park. So this is it. This is the air. And that's about it really. Apart from we've got the standard lift overhead as per usual. We have a lift overhead. Hello! And as normal, people are waving at us. So I think that concludes our air tour. Maybe another couple of interesting things that you might find is just through the season airs bit there. If you walk all the way through there, you can uh, go and see some horses which pull the carts around from the end of the car park by the services. Don't know how much it costs to go out on a horsey ride. I don't think it's too expensive. I think that about concludes our air tour. Any questions, leave in the comments below. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll try and get more of these air tours.